We're gonna start mounted. We're here. First, we're gonna get one <coughs> leg flat and get our hands framed up against the hip right here. Start to turn to that side a little bit. You're gonna hook that foot, pull it in between your legs. Scoot under the knee, keeping your knee squeezed together, keeping your legs tight around his ankle here. Scoot under the knee. That's gonna give you space to reach this arm here, right under his hip. Start pulling the hip up onto your shoulder and walking your shoulder underneath it to walk his legs straight right here. Let's do that again. Just the entry. All right, so we're here framed on the hip. One leg <coughs> flat. Turn to our side, hook that ankle, pull it in between our legs. Scoot under the knee, reach under his legs, and scoot back into the deep half part here. From here, you're gonna sweep them backwards. Pass their guard, slide the knee across the belly, and now it's his turn to do it to you. Sometimes you'll use your hand right here, no problem. Use your hand. Sweep them back. Escape and mount to the deep half guard. Get swept back. Pass the guard, mount, and then be right away. <clears throat> and he's gonna be on my back. Seat bell and hooks. It's not a good situation here. We're gonna fall to the underhook side like this, trying to get our head to the ground already. Sometimes our head is in here real tight. You gotta cover with this top hand. You can use your bottom hand to push and get your head to the mat. From here, you're gonna use your hip to start getting out of that bottom hook, walking out. This hand is always protecting you from getting mounted. Most of the time, by the time you get about here, they're already trying to get on top of you. We're gonna slide our arm under the legs and get into our deep half guard. Let's look at that again. You guys experience that, right? You're on a guy's back, and then he slides down. You all, you're about to lose the back, so you just try to get up and mount him, right? That's pretty much a really common thing. Right here, start getting out. This hand, he tries to mount me. It's always, I call it a mount alert. Hold in here. Close my legs around it for deep half guard. Slide this hand right under. Get that hip and scoot under. Same position. Now from here, we're gonna do a different attack. We're gonna start playing with the hooks. We haven't really done that yet this week. We're gonna take this hook, put it under his leg, right here. I like to use this leg to kind of swing it on top of my leg, start getting some misdirection going. So you might think I'm going back that way, but then we turn back, come out this way. Start grabbing his hip, trying to pull, you, pull him into your lap. Take the back. If he stays up on his knees here, he's like trying to run away from you already, then you'll just be climbing him and chasing this back. All right, so let's do the whole thing again. But you're gonna end up on his back. It's gonna reset it, he's gonna do it to you. All right, so I'm here, let me turn this way. Fall to the underhook side, push his head out of the way, get my head to the ground. Start walking out over here. He's gonna try to just get on top of me. I'm gonna dip myself into the deep half guard. From here, put this hook in, the back hook in right under his ankle. Forward and start getting up for his back. Now it's his turn. All right. <clears throat> so now let's just go for mount again. I catch the half guard. I get into the deep half guard. From here, if the guy's got a monster base, we're trying to work them both ways on him, man. This guy, he's not falling over very easy, okay? Then we're gonna start setting up this sweep. Or it could be your 
go to. You know, you could already know the guy's got a monster base and just go right to this. So this hand is gonna sneak here under the ankle, right here. This hand's gonna go up and grab his hip. Now I gotta get my leg above his knee here. And I wanna pull his elbow, I'm sorry, his ankle up here into my elbow here. All right, so this is our position right here. We call the waiter sweep. If you, a lot of times this hand is within grip of the sleeve. If you can grab the sleeve, I like to go ahead and do it. So take away his post. Now the thing that's gonna sweep him is your pressure into the knee. He can post back here. So don't really try to take him this way. It's gonna be an awkward struggle. You need to take him straight back into that knee where he doesn't really have a post. <coughs> here. Now to get up, let go of his foot. If you come up with the foot, it's gonna be this weird, like you're gonna be all entangled and he can knock you off balance a lot with that leg. You're gonna let go and kick your leg back. Squeeze your legs together lower than his knee. And then again, transition into the over under pass. Mount him. And now it's his turn. All right, so let's do it again. Catch the foot. Escape the mount to the deep half guard. Bring your knees up, reach under his ankle right here. This hand's gonna go to this other hip. You're gonna slide the leg up above his knee, get it bent like this. Use this leg like a pendulum and knock him back. Fall to your hip over here. Kick your legs back. Get up to your knees. Over under pass. Mount. Once we're here in the deep half guard, okay? We, want it, we definitely want the back. We're gonna do this motion right here. Dip our head out the back, catch this hip right here. This hand comes to catch it too. We shrimp away and lock a triangle <coughs> over his leg above the knee. And then this is the grip we're going for the arm. You're first gonna be holding the hip, but that arm is like always within reach. Whatever he's doing with the arm, move it around. You can always get to it and grab it here. And now he's stuck, he can't turn either way. He can't turn toward my legs and he can't turn back up towards my head. So let's do that move, let's do that motion again right there. From the deep half guard here, it's a really simple motion. You're just gonna scoot your head out the back. This hand is gonna grab his hip, this hand is gonna grab his hip. I'm still squeezing my knees together. This foot goes to the ground, I scoot myself back, I throw in this triangle and grab this arm. From here he's super stuck. We're gonna scoot ourselves back like this and switch our hook. Throw the top hook in. Now we got this twister hook. We got a few options here. We're gonna tilt him back. Fancy. It does look fancy, but it's good control the whole time. I promise. One time. See it one time, Mark. Can I do it two more? Get out the back. Catch this arm. Try to move either way here. Come on. Extend. Switch the hook. Explode. Anybody want to see it one more time? Ready to try, guys? One more time. Let's try it guys, we'll come around and help everybody out.